Hi guys, what's up and welcome back. We are continuing with our X4 Foundations, Cradle of Humanity, call it whatever. Um, but look at this. This is so damn cool. Uh, it is our very first base. Now, it's not nearly done and it did cost me a massive amount of money. Um, the estimate is usually spot on. And this base did already cost me about 7 million energy or uh, 7 million credits to be built. Uh, <laughs> like, damn, that, that's insane. And I'm sure there is going to be a lot more. But this NS energy facility, when it is actually uh, done, there will be more storages. I've actually changed the design a tiny bit um to where we have just one uh container instead of the four and we will eventually build that up when we have more uh money but uh this is like our uh just almost are you uh, thinking he should get started on the uh, lower area uh one of my uh, my service crews has now become let me get my heart back otherwise you don't see this it has now become the manager so looking at my station over here um there is the combined skill of the crew which is now a zero apparently which is slightly odd because i do believe i did level up. we got two managers now <gasps> oh never mind you work for me in the energy plant because i think it's more important there eventually we do want to flip it back yes for sure uh but not right now so work here select that as a manager oh dear no okay okay well whatever we level up her which is fine it's fine as well let's go back to our staff go back over here you let's go calm can i help and we go, we're going to be giving you a, a manager seminar. Like I said, just purchase these things whenever you can. Um, that's one star. Can I help? And let's give you another management seminar. That's one. Come on, can we give you can more? No, that's about it. Maybe I don't have more, but we will get a lot more, actually. Currently, we're waiting for resources to come in. And eventually, this will be done. But I just felt like i didn't want to wait anymore we got a lot of missions in here storage levels pirates drill and season this uh, and and desist i'm thinking we might as well do these and why not right why not now i need five mines and we will go ahead and purchase those i actually have just just a tiny bit of money left with yeah well oof all that money is is gone uh let's go set guidance over there and we'll head on over there we'll fly ourselves once these missions are done we'll be focusing a lot more because what i need is actually the um, the finance the finances to build a few freighters we will also start with the um with the stuff that we need oh definitely going to overshoot this which is fine it is fine go which we definitely will need for my plan to come on come on no come on no oh dear lord i'm an idiot oh well okay let's not do this let's just do this the slow way otherwise i don't want you you know getting um how do you stop getting sick Due to the uh, the rapid movement of the camera i'm sorry for that oh yeah let's go head over to the wolf entering mars and we'll buy i believe that we need five mines five mines and um uh, we are going to give it some time to actually make money get our skill up and we will also visit the faction representative because we now know what we kind of need for every base that we make if we go like just do autopilot uh, if we go towards our base here uh, 
go here, press information, you see that you normally need a silicon carbine and the computer uh, substrate. No, not sure how to make these, but the energy cells we are going to produce, we don't ever need to buy these again. And that's why we need transport chips allocated to this station. And they're going to be medium because I don't think I can actually buy large chips just yet. I think it's part of the soul system we will eventually find. Um, but I would like to look into silicon carbine because I would like to have a station making oh, those okay. myself. Disengaged. And you can go into the encyclopedia here and go uh, silicon. Once again, caps lock is on. I always have that caps lock on. Uh, carbine over here. Not sure what it produces, but it looks like we need energy and micro lead and a bunch of other stuff. So methane is gas and silicon. So how do we get these uh, metallic micro? So let's go with met uh, anti l like and these are made by helium and ore. So I would assume getting this as the next step as a base into our economical let's call this an economical campaign right eventually we'll get into war and stuff like and i would like to you know conquer the galaxy maybe not even in the terra name maybe just in the daily industries name um but this would be the very next one metallic micro lace and we also just need containers uh okay let's go over here let's go dock terran wharf and there is the dockyard. Hello. Also, 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 also. Go to your scan mode. And put your heart on. We'll fly over there. Now you can see there is information unlocked there on the right hut. And it says information unlocked is about 21%. Now what you can do is simply stay close to the station. Fly over it. And eventually the things you do not know, and this is probably just a silo, it will uncover. And there's information unlocked now, 26%. So um, doing these sort of things is quite important. So looking at your bases, doing the stuff that everyone does, it is absolutely Baldrick. vital. I spy with my little Lugary. eye. Maintenance vessel. There you go. Why not? To uh, well, uh, we might get some credits. We're now at plus 18, and I'm sure they love it. Uh, this, this looks cool. Man. I think this might be where the workforce stays. The Terran Wolf living quarters. There we go. And let's get up a tiny bit. Let's slow down. I don't want to crash into my in the station. Look how cool it is, man. It's so detailed. Absolutely loving this. There you go, another one. 100% living quarters. And eventually you can actually get these. So definitely go for it, guys. Don't uh, don't let this go to waste. Thanks 43. For your help. There we go. Thanks for your help. We received 500 and a plus one faction relationship. There's the defense platform. And I think this is also a defense platform. 39%. And uh, I'll probably... Ooh, way too fast, way too fast, way too fast. Eventually, I would like to do a lot more of these because these stations are so cool. That's why I want to build like the Terran faction machines. Look at all of these turrets, right? That is so cool. Just imagine us fighting like these large ships with our station and the Delati the, the at their knees just Please don't destroy us. Go away. Go away, you small damn ship. Cross sections. If you look at them like this, uh, you will just see if you got it like 100%. Large docking containers and stuff like that. And you can also find these statics in scanning mode. Uh, let's see if I can find one rapidly. Usually they are on these sort of sections. 
what you're looking for are these sparks right where you when your ship is at a close range you'll get this uh, radio transmission or you know something like that but we're now at 52 percent and can we scan this turret actually is that possible I don't think so. But it looks cool. Just, just. Ah, these bases, man. These bases are just, just the best. And we can all build them. <laughs> really fantastic. I am really enjoying my time playing this. And I know this might not be the most interesting thing for you, but for me, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. There's so much detail. Unbelievable. And the things you actually obtained, I think they are going to be in a different color. Anyways, let's go and dock. I'll, uh, I'll do a lot more of this probably off camera. And perhaps if you like to, we can do this on camera and find some of the missions. Let's go ahead and we need to buy um, five mines. Apparently we have 11 inactive missions and we're going to be changing that. I'm not sure if you can do all Success the missions in the game. Maybe you can. Apparently we were damaged. We to welcome you aboard. Um, add it to you again. Symbol, satellites. I need... Not tracking mines. Let's go... Six, uh, five mines and one more resource probe. Eventually, uh, we will actually just remove these. I don't need them anymore. The flares, I actually have no idea how to use them. <laughs> I know I can look it up uh, for seconds. Let's get up. We are going to be taking a look at the, uh, the trader and see if we can get a few more of those seminars. There you go. Oh, the working bench. Let's take a look. Anything we can create does not look like this. The Sita, there you go. We need a flux capacitor and a damage singularity engine. This will speed game up for you, the, the game up for you if you think it's too slow, I guess. Can I help? Uh, let's show me your Here wares. You what do you have? Um... Programmable field array, we have one, we can't buy them, which is fine. Uh, level star management, let's buy these. So you got your basic and you got your one star, and this is what we want for our management, and also for piloting, just to increase them to level two. And I wish there was level two and three, and they could definitely like add another zero level five star, and uh, 50,000, five million, something like that to just help you progress with all of that. Good luck in oh, well. there. Can't have it all right. Let's go shift D back. Okay. We have them. Oh, he's Hello. so bored out of its skull. Look at that. He's like, oh shit, dude, hurry up. Let's go undock. And we now need to go towards missions. And economic minefield set to active and do autopilot. autopilot. Let's take a look at our base since we are going to be flying over there. We'll do the autopilot. It looks like we have our vertical sections as well as our cross section. So soon we are going to get a, another section be, that's going to be built. And then the container unit. And then this one's done. Now, of course we can increase it. But I kind of need my money elsewhere. Because we need to go for uh, money. And 71,000 means there is something going on. With one of my ships, it's probably in the Grand Exchange. Take a look, you, uh, information. He is still mining, so it's not him, it's this one. And uh, by the looks of it, he is filled with 540 silicon. What is he doing? Um, not completely sure. 
He should be selling it over here, right? So let's go to behavior. He is set to dock. Entering asteroid belt. Oh, I think he's over here. Yeah, it looks like he's heading over this region. Let's take a look. What do we have? No, no, no. I don't need this like this. Um, change. Go away. Um, he still has plenty to go for silicon and ore. Hmm. He's also making the computer substrate, so... And that is our definitely our definite goal in terms of what we need for station building. And I'm quite interested in seeing how this has developed. Also, here's the void. Entering system. And is this now in Get dispute? By any chance? Let's take a look. Can we get more information, please? Okay. Where's the rest of the information? Oh, there you go. No, it's not in dispute. Otherwise, it will say that it is in dispute. But, oh well, it isn't. So, we're going to be going over this region. And I believe we need to drop mines in this location. And I'm sorry, mate. But I... Uh, I'm going to deactivate the other pilot. I'm going to be taking a look. Yeah, I know you want a mission. You have a mission for me, mate. But I just don't actually... Ooh, that's very close. I don't actually want it right now. Let's go. And stop. Give me control back of my ship, please. But so far, so good. I don't see any hostiles. Oh, damn, look at that. There's a fight. There's definitely a fight. Oh, damn. Container. Oh, we'll be getting a lot of stuff here. Okay, we'll... Um. Um... Okay, well, he's gone. Let's get in here and we'll drop our mines and we're going to be getting all of this loot. Look how much there is. Container. P. Okay, let's not worry about it. Let's make sure we don't get through the gate. And we'll just drop these uh, these mines here. Okay, stop. Enter. Let's go deploy. Mine, deploy, mine, deploy, mine, deploy, mine. There you go. And let's get the hell out of here before we explode. Oh! <gasps> no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I didn't save in ages. Oh, shit. No, oh, come on, game. God, no. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen. I've not had this in in a while. Oh, dear. I have no other save. <laughs> well, there goes at least an hour of progress. Oh, well, it is what it is. Oh, I did save an hour ago. Oh, this feels so bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. We're going to be dropping that mission, guys. <laughs> Way too dangerous. Way too dangerous. Oh, that's what happens. Well, okay. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Well. I wonder how much we lost, actually. Oh, we'll see. It, it wasn't that much because I was pretty much AFKing for a while. So, it's just basically money. We'll see. So, guys, have you been playing this game for yourself? Have you been doing it? And, and, and what is your favorite way in progressing? Uh, I would like to know this because maybe there is ways that I'm not very much familiar to. Maybe you prefer trading. Maybe you prefer me turning off my audio because I'm an idiot. And um, let's turn off my um, my volume here. Oh, that's mean. Some uh, one of my colleagues is sending me a picture of food. Bastard. Oh, you bastard. No, uh, but maybe maybe I'm doing stuff wrong, which is fine if I do stuff wrong. 
Uh, we're going to be dropping the mine mission. We're going to be giving more funds to our station. And I'm pretty sure that by the time next episode is, there, is here, we, uh, we'll have that f uh, station completed and have some money in reserve. I should really turn off auto sa uh, turn on auto saving when I'm AFK. Um, because, yeah, because of these, these things. Maybe I should turn it on already and go for like 40 to 60 minutes because you will lose so much time in this game it's unbelievable absolutely unbelievable i think i even got destroyed by my own mines oh yeah because uh they're not friend of foe mines they're just regular mines Docking yeah I'm, granted. I'm... let's see yeah we're here damn uh almost out of money and what does the station still need the station needs just 600,000, which is fine. Let's go to the mission. Let's go economical mines uh, field as I bought this mission. And we'll set these to active. Autopilot. Autopilot and we'll get going right away. Let's see what kind of missions um, there are still. Um, a seminar level 1 piloting? Oh, cool. Uh, we need to pick someone up by the looks of it. And here we need an engineer delivered, but it looks good. That's a lot of cash. That is really cool. Entering Mars. Component substains. Maybe I could activate all of these. No, I think you can only do like one minute, uh, one uh, mission at a time. Damn, that is definitely a long, long time. Let's go set this one to active. Don't Where do we need to go? Aborted. Destroy criminal. I can actually do this. Autopilot disengage. But is it in the same area, really? Okay. Wait. 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 Autopilot. Autopilot. Stop. Disengage. Let's turn off. Let's uh, select our ship and do. Stop guidance. Set to inactive. Where is this? Also over there. Why is all of the missions over there? Interesting. Hmm. I want to do this like next episode. Like continuing the main mission. Acquire station engineer. I think we have this. Let's go to personnel. And we need an engineer. I think it's like in-service crew. Look at this guy. Look. This, this is definitely more than enough. We have a level 3 engineering morale. Not particularly sure why I would want to lose him. We can level these up as well, right? Can I help? Gift seminar? No. Goodbye. Okay. Well, never mind. Um, where do we? Why do they always want us to go over there? Do the Terrans not actually have their own missions, which is fine. Let's go aboard all of these. Not this one. Board mission. Abort that mission. I'm not sure it actually ruins anything. And we'll go... And look. Where do we want to go? We have more than enough money, right? Do we have set up the funds over here? No. Confirm that. Just make sure that this one is done next time. So we can actually continue. Man, I feel, I feel really dense. <laughs> Welcome to X4, guys. Yes, you can actually have it game over. Oh, that was dumb. That really was dumb. Let's go to our faction representative. Let's set guidance over there. And, um... Let's give me my control back. Autopilot, Autopilot over there. And we can actually listen to the story. And next time, we'll, uh, we'll start with the mission then. And see what it is. Maybe we can actually see Earth. Wouldn't that be great? That would be so good. 
What's this? Are they... Is this like the former gate? Oh, that is cool. I like that. Docking granted. And these ships are so nice. They really are nice. Let's go. Yeah, I don't care about those small fry. Let's go. Let's go towards the uh, faction. Uh, not the faction. Oh, actually, yes, that's what we can do. Go towards the faction representative. Successfully docked. Let's get up. And also, we're going to be buying we're those seminars. Double um, W is sprinting. Hello. I should use that more often, but I'm not in a hurry. Let's go to Trader's Corner first. We go over here. Now, if we want loot, we can go back towards the previous area. First aid kit. Not sure what it does, but we'll get one. We'll get all of these. Here we go. Let's confirm that. And good say goodbye. Doctor. Let's see at the crafting station. No, we can't do anything with it. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's go. Towards the Secret Service Bureau. And listen to what C actually has to say. Project ne Genesis? Oh. Through your work on the Xenon front, you have proven yourself to be a valuable asset to the Terran cause. We might have another task for you. This one will require a somewhat softer touch, though. Having someone in our corner who is familiar with diplomacy and backroom deals will be critical to this operation's success. Our agents have been watching an analyst going by the name of Dal Busta. He is currently negotiating on behalf of the Hatikva Free League. Get in contact with this Busta character and get acquainted with the political situation outside the Sol system. Okay. Agent Harrikin. We were under the impression that you went AWOL and launched an investigation into your disappearance. I will update your personal dossier before you run into trouble. Let's take your statement. I am hereby informing you that you are being recorded. Reporting Cadet, Raibu Hariken, dispatched to observe Project Genesis. You may begin. Uh, the station moved to another system. The Sagaris pioneers are capable of moving stations. Me, a uh, Baron of Boron, uh, was experimenting Third there. Third party involvement. I see. We will investigate this Boron. Is there anything else to report? New intel on Project Genesis? Uh, no, ma'am. Thank you, Agent Hudikin. You stand relieved. Thank you. Just give me money now. What else do we have there? Any leads about on the outpost um, incident? Ever since you handed in your report, my people have been working tirelessly to find a connection between a number of intriguing events that have occurred in Saul over the course of the last few weeks. The first incidents were barely out of the ordinary. High-tech traders missing cargo, manipulated delivery schedules, the occasional kidnapping and ransoming. Then things began to ramp up. Top secret deliveries being raided. Fake distress signals targeting our military trainees. Sabotage on a grand scale. And lately, more and more of these incidents involve the Xenon in some fashion. We can no longer ignore the possibility of a major new threat to the Terran Protectorate. Okay, so, um, who could be behind this? Based on recent evidence, my people are fairly sure that our opponents are the infamous Yaki. In a nutshell, they're pirates. Our data suggested that they originated as members of the Argon Federation, another splinter group they couldn't keep under control. 
The Yaki have always dabbled in dangerous technology, and they seem to have only doubled down on that alarming compulsion since we last had the pleasure of making contact. One of their criminal spin-off enterprises, the infamous Beryl, was responsible for an AGI drone attack on Earth in recent history. Expect their ships to be heavily armed and highly maneuverable. Mm, what can I do? Ah, yes, indeed. I recognize you might have personal reasons for your interest. So it seems only prudent to offer you this assignment first. The objective is simple. Find out where these pirates are hiding, what their goals are, and whether they can be defeated. Unfortunately, you will only be able to call upon limited support during your mission. As an undercover operative, it is paramount that no direct connection can be drawn between you and the Terran Secret Service. Once you leave Protectorate Space, you're on your own. I can provide some guidance to help you get started, but ultimately, you will be the one making decisions under pressure. You and Cadet Shinneman recently encountered an especially malicious distress signal trap that was presumably set by these Yaki. They seem to be targeting specific Terran ships for some reason. And since they're keen on eliminating anyone who follows their trail, that reason remains a mystery to us. If we catch them in the act, that will tell us more about their objectives. An advanced satellite should be able to pick up on all distress signals in the sector. My team will evaluate the data and point you towards potential discrepancies. With your record, you will do just fine, Operative. I'll leave you to prepare. Okay, so is that more? Get in contact with this Busta character and get acquainted with the political situation outside the Sol system. Okay, so basically that, that's it. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.